for Ryan. Oh, bro. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Um, guys, I was in my apartment the other night, and I heard a stranger banging loudly on my door. Uh, he was my neighbor, so I should know him, but I'm a New York transplant, so this scary stranger was banging on my door. Um, and when I opened the door, the guy said, Hey, did you just throw eggs at me and my friends from the roof? <laughs> and at first, I wasn't nervous at all, because I know I didn't do it. I'm me. I was watching me the whole time. <laughs> but he's not me. How do I convince him? <laughs> he seemed angry and wet with egg. <laughs> so, maybe I could show him the eggs in my fridge as proof? <laughs> of what? I'm not sure. But then I had two worries. Uh, I don't know how many eggs I have left in my fridge, and I don't know the right amount of eggs to prove my innocence. <laughs> Uh, at first, I hoped I had no eggs, because then I could be like, see, I couldn't have thrown eggs, I don't have any. But then I was like, no, I just threw all my eggs at you, and now I'm locking you. <laughs> so then I hope, okay, I hope I have a lot of eggs, because then I could go to my friend and be like, see, I have so many eggs, I didn't throw any of them. But then I thought, no, he's going to think I'm some sick freak who keeps diligent tabs on his egg supply. The same kind of sick freak who would throw many an egg, knowing well he has many left over in store. So then I really start panicking. I say, okay, Ryan, this is it. I've been blamed for a crime I didn't commit. If society is going to see me as a criminal, I might as well become one, right? Like a victim of the prison industrial complex, or... Wreck it, Ralph. Um, so, so new plan. Uh, I'm gonna bring this guy into my house. I'm gonna show him my fridge, and right as he opens the door, I'll grab an egg and chuck it in his face. And after I've locked this egg screen, a name I brilliantly come up with under immense pressure. Nice work, Ryan. I'm gonna leave my apartment and run away and start a new life. Maybe I'll become an egg farmer. No, um, okay, an egg salesman. No, um, an egg. Man, oh god, the eggs are infecting my every thought, the guilt is eating me alive, and I didn't even do anything technically, so... I decided I might as well come clean. I'll let the eggs fall where they may. <laughs> so I go up to the guy who I still haven't said anything to. Still angry, still wet with egg. And I say, I didn't throw eggs, but I can show you my fridge if you want proof. And the guy goes, no, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I saw the cutest graffiti tagging of my life last night. I need to show you how the guy did it. Okay, ready? <laughs> he was so excited. Isn't that adorable? I mean, I think also part of him really wanted to get caught because he kept looking around, but no one around us was interested. I almost wanted to call after him, hey, stop that, just to like, give him a thrill. <laughs> and then he'd get, you know, get all excited, start running away, like... <laughs> and then I'd start chasing him like an old-timey police officer. <laughs> and then we'd laugh and laugh. <laughs> the real tag of the night, he left on my heart. <laughs> and you can't paint over that. Um, guys, I have to tell you, the other day I noticed that every time I jaywalk across the street, I do it in the exact same way. Here's how I do it. <laughs> every time I cross the street, isn't that annoying? Like, who am I trying to impress? Drivers? <laughs> in their cars? And it's unlike me, too. It's like I'm crossing the street like, yeah, I just got done with the whole day of wrestling here and riding tough. Whoa, nice shit tub. <laughs> So clearly I need everybody to like me, including you guys, please like me, but <laughs> why nearby drivers? Because if drivers don't think I look cool, they might want to hit me with their car. Because <laughs> think about it, if you're in your car at an intersection and you see a cool guy crossing, you probably do nothing. But now imagine a nerd crossing. Your toe is itching the gas pedal, right? <laughs> this is my fear now. So I'm trying to come up with 
new ways to cross the street even more nonchalantly. Um, so I started wearing horse blinders. <laughs> that way, if anyone sees me crossing the street, they'll be like, whoa, look at that guy, he's so cool. He doesn't even care about crossing both ways. I should grab a beer with him. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys.